So this isn't one of those getting lost on the path videos. This, I'm actually with this guy here today, wandering the streets of Glasgow, and uh, wanted to do a topic on 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 like a saying. And, and the saying is, the hour is darkest before the dawn. So like this last hour before dawn is always the darkest. And what you can find sometimes is when you're in a situation, when you're nearing completion of the situation, you know, let's take the spiritual endeavor. Sometimes before liberation, what you find is everything totally and utterly goes wrong. Like you conceptually know everything that, you know, you're looking for. However, um, the, the conceptual and the intellectual knowing of this isn't enough. It's just not enough and there's this burning, burning desire to kind of obviously kind of resolve. Now, I don't want to take it down the non dual route and have people say, yes, but who resolves and who this. Let's put that one aside and stuff. Um, but what you find is when you're involved in any sort of endeavor, when you're trying to do the right thing, when you're trying to right a wrong or you're trying to seek and find something, what you find is just at the end, you know, everything and everything goes wrong. It's like almost like you're tested beyond belief you know things that used to just fall in place that made perfect sense all of a sudden just don't make sense anymore um, practices that you had techniques that you used just don't seem to don't seem to we're going round and round and round about we've gone round about three times so I don't understand just completely taking me off my flow here and everything but there you go so what happens when you allow other people to drive the car and stuff um, so yeah everything's kind of going wrong like for example why is this man going around a roundabout god knows how many times but he just is and it's one of those situations where as i've said before you cannot see the wood for the trees you know you're you're so trying to do the right thing and it's just not working nothing's working all the doors are closing and that's that point where you've got to keep your goal in mind you've just got to seriously have that intensity you know i did a vi video earlier on about you know how far would you go to look for truth and it's the same thing in any endeavor in life there's a point where if you have confidence and you have belief because that belief emanates from a point inside you or that point where you think no this is it and it's, it's beyond a, a logical or intuitive knowing it just it just is you just know this is something I've got to do and yeah you'll want to give up and you'll want to you know you'll want to scream rant and rave and everything but you've just got to persist because if what you're doing is right even amongst this carnage that's happening at that moment in time where everything is going wrong you'll find little glimpses you know that that little whisper that little synchronicity that little person just meeting you or something and kind of saying you know what just try just carry on you know i'll give you a a, a real-time example of it. a couple of weeks ago, i was going down the street and um as, as most of you know i'm in glasgow at the moment and um uh, you know this tour's been called make the million dollars get the girl and you know slay the dragon tour and um what happened was i was thinking about a situation and i thought you know i've lost i'm absolutely lost you know last year i was sorting things out and there were synchronicities and truth and it was all just working and now i'm really i've really got my back to the wall and everything that i know uh, and everything that i do is just not working to any avail and in a sense i'm going deeper i'm, I'm going deeper and deeper into the situation and i'm just going to quit I think I'll just leave it and then I just saw a sign which was unmistakable and I remember thinking to myself well okay why is this happening and it just tells you okay if something's not happening maybe it's not happening now maybe it's just a case of not yet but it's there and that's where faith comes into it you know where in a sense you have to trust you know in an ultimate being you know from the Islamic tradition we believe obviously that Allah I know we have a cyclist trying to kind of get himself knocked over and stuff. Um, so yeah, we trust in Allah. And sometimes what can happen is you can pray and Allah doesn't actually grant you what you want straight away. It's not a case of it hasn't been granted. It's a case of not yet. And if it's not for you, something better will come along. But again, when you intently engage in a conversation with your beloved, what you'll find is your beloved is speaking back to you. And yes, okay, there is that poster and in this poster it says that, you know, when, when I was going through life and there was only this one set of footprints and that's when the beloved says, well, that's when I was carrying you. That's the time when you can't really see it. That's when you're closest. You know, when you're completely in the now, you're completely in pain or you're completely in joy and there's nothing else. That's when you're completely staring at the face of God. So a roomy state, wherever I turn, I see the face of my beloved. That's when you're completely looking at the face of your beloved. And that's when... You need to redouble your efforts or just go quiet and allow that conversation however distant it may sound at that moment in time to just come through and lead you through so have faith it all gets sorted in the end